Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia Rebirth. This is episode 2. So, last time, Tassi and her husband were flying to French Sudan to a new mine. And then the whole plane full of people crashed into the Algerian desert. And then we don't really know what happened after the plane crash. Clearly that's the amnesia part of the title, is we don't remember anything after the crash. And now we are following on the trail of her husband, Salim. But we got attacked by something and woke up with this fancy watch that allows us to open portals, apparently. So we're gonna step into this portal and see where it leads. Uh, just kind of a spooky tunnel. Alright, so that didn't really lead anywhere, it just opened up a hole in a wall. So this is obviously very new. There is nothing like this in Amnesia the Dark Descent. Okay, we're out of matches, so hopefully it's not dark up ahead. What are you doing? Christ's name. How could I leave him? I know. I know it makes sense everything he said, but but it's such stupid fucking self-sacrificing bullshit. Listen. I know Selim, and I know you. I know what you're capable of. He'll make it, and you'll get back to him even if all hell stands in your way. I'm so fucking scared, Hank. I know. So clearly, Tassi did go with the rest of the team to try and find help. But presumably, she also encountered something horrible and otherworldly that caused her to lose her memories. Also, I'm noticing there doesn't seem to be location names anymore. You just get a door icon instead. Hush now, lullaby. Close your eyes for sleep is coming. Hush now, lullaby. Papa's here, so don't you cry. Sleep well, Alice. I mean, everything's hinting at the fact that they already had a kid. But that goes against what I heard about this game, though. We haven't really heard anything about her being pregnant yet, so... Not 100% sure. We do keep seeing this face, though. I'm guessing this might be the face of Tin Hanan. Torches. Someone's been here. Can I Hello? put this thing away? Anyone? Okay, I can. I mean, this is a pretty well-lit cave. Even with the torches, the other caves didn't get this bright. What is this? It's not a torch, it's just like a a stick. Hmm. Well, we've got another one of these little shrines here. So, does this lead anywhere? Okay, so we can go up here. There is a door, but there's also two of these... ...pathways into the dark. We're just gonna leave those for a second. We'll go check the door. It's probably gonna be locked. No, okay. Shit! For some reason, I didn't think that one would be a hole. I thought it would just, <laughs> like, do something. Well. I think I missed everything in there. Hopefully we'll get another chance at that. I think we are in the other world, though, when we're in here. Because there's, like, weird glowing plants. And this doesn't really look like any sort of natural cave. Hmm. No, don't actually go out there. This is another case where my 
my hesitation to take what seems like the forward path ends up making me miss the extra stuff because I end up falling into the actual forward path. Anything over here? No. I guess we are going to have to go outside into the other world. It's not a nice place. In the name of God, look at this place. It, it can't be real. Now the question is, is this the other world that Alexander came from? Because if so, why is he so keen on getting back here? <laughs> Seems like Earth might seem like a much more habitable place. There's a big statue over there, I think. This also does not look like a safe material to try to walk on with the way it's all fragmented. Just make our way to this creepy statue. Now it's a compass. Nothing progresses. Time does not change things. Light does not move across the sky, nor does it grow dimmer or brighter. And yet time must pass. My mouth is dry, and I feel the pangs of hunger. Vire's notes predicted instability of the flow of time around the junctions between worlds, where one step might carry one between years, but might preserve the body in its current state, or indeed where the body changed but time did not pass for the world around. Is that what has happened? Is this whole world frozen in a moment after its destruction? How could I ever tell, and what would change if I knew the answer? I have given up on the attempt to find the portal. I have a notion that I could apply Vire's predictions on the weakness of the fabric between worlds. If only I could map them in some form. So again, there's mention of Johann Weyer, or Vire, who I guess did end up in this world, or just another world, and that made him the expert on other worlds. Wait. I think the face is the same on that giant statue as the mask we keep seeing. Alright, well our little compassy thing wants us to go this way. And I somehow I don't think I'm gonna be missing matches in this world. Okay, it wants me to go this way. But I can't, so I have to go around. I suppose it's possible that in the time since the first amnesia, something bad actually did happen here in the other world. And that's why it's now like this. of the Sahara four days south of Insala Aman Tezemt 
this guy could be from the original Trapped. expedition Christ. to the ruins. Because we haven't encountered the ruins yet, but I bet they're near here. There must be a way back. Somewhere. Look at that mustache, preserved for all these years. I am defeated. There is no way back. There is nowhere to go. I have searched for a portal, but there is none. I have triangulated the weakest points with Levi's calculations, but I cannot tear a rift, for I do not have a traveler's amulet. I did not heed Brennenberg's warning. Yet what choice did I have? The shadow sent the orb. I had to risk all and step through the portal. There is no water and no other means of sustenance. I will not live long. If you, reader, traveler, from whatever world you come, if you comprehend and if you know enough to speak those of the human world called Earth, let them know this. I was the first to solve the mysteries of the gate builders. I was the first human to breach the boundaries between worlds. I, Professor Thurston Aloysius Herbert of Cambridge, England, was the first. God forgive me. So this would be Daniel's mentor. Who discovered a second orb in the ruins after Daniel took the fragments of the first one. And I guess this is where he ended up. So, I take it his body is just not decaying then in this world. And it's not just the power of the mustache. There's no significance to this statue. very dusty here, which makes everything look like it's a little too bright, but, you know, I wasn't expecting the game to be this bright. I'm almost surprised she doesn't have any trouble breathing in this. I feel like we're walking around the surface of LV-426 without any kind of spacesuit. Well, we just follow these little ghost lights. Whatever these weird plants are. They're kind of like glowing squash. So this thing we're holding is a traveler's locket then. But as far as I remember, that's not something that's ever mentioned in Amnesia. This looks promising. Hmm. Some of the doors are one way. What the hell was that? Okay, we can't stay in the dark or she's gonna get fearful. What, what the hell is that? It's a big old alien slug. With like an armored head. It's like shrinking in on itself. Okay, so we're not back yet. I, for a second I thought we were back in the caves. We are still on this world. Looks like they got caught by the sticky ick. I don't suppose you guys had any matches on them. Foot. 
Is there some kind of glow out there? Oh, it's gone now. But I wonder if perchance that is the creature searching for us. Whatever manner of creature is around. This place is hard to navigate. This is likely also the world that Daniel saw when he touched the orb. A world of endless deserts and, you know, impossible geometry, towering spires. Okay, I just went in a circle. The Council of the Slug. For a moment, I forgot I could jump. Okay. I think this is just a dead end down here. I wish she had the foresight to bring a flashlight on the plane. But maybe they took all their flashlights with them on their first expedition. I thought I was onto something. Not sure if this is just... Oh. There's that light again. So it is some kind of floating creature that looks like it's wearing a robe or something. But it's also all the way up there, so I don't think it's going to notice us. Unless it teleports in front of us like that. What are these people running from? They're not, because they're all dead. Holy Mother of God. What could do this? Fallen into the past. <gasps> Alice in Wonderland. Written by Lewis Carroll. Contemporary. Now it doesn't actually say that game. You just shorthanded it on the cover. I don't care about the paperwork. This is as official as I need it to be. I love you, Selim. Put the damn ring on. <laughs> oh, my heart. I will put the damn ring on. And you will wear mine. Is that their love beyond laws? They just never got officially married? No time for love, Dr. Jones. Food is ready. Oh, can I see it? It's not finished. Hmm. It's terrible. 
Absolutely terrible. Get out of here! <laughs> so we do know she is like an engineering drafter, so this is presumably her work table. Notice of rejection. Ministry of the Interior. Place Beauvau. To M.S. Hananachi. Paris. I... I have to remember. Find Selim. I feel like we're going to end up at the plane after this. And we're stuck in a loop. But this time we'll remember more. I was 16, I think. And I must have driven him crazy. But no curfew, no locked doors, just this compass. He said it was so I would always find my way home. I wish I'd known him better. <laughs> so do I. Adventure Dad is cool, Dad. That's probably him right there. Make sure to touch everything in case they trigger a memory. I think that's everything in here. Salim? Hmm. Salim? I'm here. No! He's being censored out of our memories. So is our child. Alice. No, 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 Alice, Alice. No. Give us the girl. Wipe away the dead. Hmm. The baby expanding? Consuming the universe? Why do I get the feeling that these are not memories, but like visions of a potential future? Something's different. I feel like I don't fit my body. Oh, what the hell? I'm heavy. My gut feels like. Oh. oh God. She could be pregnant. Like, was that like three? Four months, potentially. Mm, we can't climb up. I was going to say I should check for matches. Because we are still completely out. Yep, our fear brain is kicking in. I'm hoping at least you don't, like just die of sanity loss because I never actually found out if that's something you could do that's what in Dark Descent said. maybe it 
wasn't a dream. Professor Herbert called them rifts, holes between worlds. Because with the number of these torches I'm seeing, I feel like I should have a lot more matches than I do. Getting a ping. Kind of like don't like that hole there. <laughs> I hate this. I really hate it. I mean, she is chatty when she's suffering from fear, but like that's how some people cope with fear. <laughs> There's the, the jump scare JPEG when you're getting spooked. I feel like if she gets too stressed here, she's just going to have a heart attack and die. Hmm, yeah. Just going to slide back up there and grab that ladder. Okay. I was wondering if we need to climb through this spooky bone hole. With like a bunch of cans fused to it. Finally, some matches. Just one. Never mind. Okay, well, we're getting enough bright spots that I don't think I need to use any matches right now. So it's a double baby scenario. They had a dead child, and now she's pregnant. Oh, shit. Shit, I remember. I'm pregnant. Oh, Salim. Well, that's something to forget in amnesia. <laughs> oh, right, pregnant. In Paris. At the expedition. We nearly didn't come because I was... I'm going to have another child. Christ. And I'm sure that has nothing to do with the fact that the title is Rebirth. Where did you go? At least it's not Amnesia Afterbirth. Or Afterbirth Plus. Oh look, bloody handprints right in the places where we're putting our hands. No, 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 oh no, please, no, 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 Salim, no, please, my love, I'm here, I'm here now, please, stay, stay for me, please. My heart, you're my heart. What do I do? What do I do now? We're supposed to find you. <laughs> he doesn't really look like anything particularly bad happened to him. You know, aside from the plane crash related injuries, I mean. But he does look kind of dehydrated. So I don't think he was killed by a ghoul or anything. I think he just died from his injuries while trying to uh, escape and catch up. Oh, a lantern. Still warm. Still warm. My god, if only I'd been the...
my heart. Why wasn't I here? I know I will not live. It does not hurt now. I have lost you, Tazi. It is only for a time. I know you will escape. You carry something so precious. Live for us, Tazi. Live for the child. Live and be free. And one bright day we will all be together again. Know that you are my heart. Well, that's our first objective complete. We did find Salim, but now we have the bigger objective of escape and survive. We have this thing. What? Is it also stay. powered by oil? I'm so, so sorry, my love. I do everything I can to keep her safe. I can't do this. Not without you. Not without you. Why did you have to go? No. No. No, don't be so fucking selfish. It's not just about you anymore. Live. Live for the child. Come on. There's got to be something you can do. Well, this lantern was no. half full. Come on. Work, damn you. But it seems to have suddenly run out of all of its fuel. Oh look, doorway. What? Hello? Is someone there? Or just a wisp? Well, it helped uh. us out. <laughs> I think that's her word for him. Alright, we've made it outside again, and the sun is setting, so hopefully it's not hot enough to cook our brains now. And hopefully, we'll find some more matches out here. God in heaven, Selim. Look where we are. What am I going to do? Just look at me. Hold down X to check your baby. Um, I can't believe I forgot this. I can't believe it took you that long to but notice. This isn't right, is it? I wasn't this far gone. Oh, I, I, I wasn't even three months. This feels more than four. How? Oh. I definitely think Leave that. Child, like you said, find the others. Get all this messing around with Eldritch stuff is going to have some effects on her child. But I think now that we've made it back out into the sunlight, this is a good place to end for episode two. So, we lost our husband, but we did find out we had a baby. Or are having a baby. But also had a previous baby. So we're getting a little more context for who Tassie is and what, you know, her relationship is. As well as took our first trip to the other world. So, we're getting a shape of what this game is doing but we still need a little bit more structure to know what our dangers are, because we really don't have any sort of antagonist yet. So hopefully, we'll find out a bit more about that next time. But until then, take care, folks.